Can I get a microphone? Oh, there it is. How you doing tonight? Thank you all so much for being here this evening uh, to our annual spring concert featuring the high school and eighth grade band. On stage tonight, you f uh, we will start with the eighth grade band. Uh, the eighth grade band up here will be first performing a piece that we did at our state band festival. Uh, this band is the first band in the history of Fenville Middle School to make it from a uh, first division rating at districts and to move on to states where we got a second division rating very close to a first. Uh, but let's give uh, our students one round of applause as we <laughs> get going. So you will see on the students' uh, shirts, they have a blue medal and that uh, blue medal resembles that first division rating uh, that these students performed uh, and earned. This is our first piece, Medieval Legend. So for our next piece, uh, we are going to have uh, quite a few people I'd like to introduce. Um, this next piece, uh, called Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, um, will first be conducted uh, by our student teacher. We had a student teacher from uh, January all the way through April, uh, and we have Miss Casey Seeger from Grand Valley State University. Uh, also tonight, uh, we are featuring uh, a very esteemed soloist and someone who is very close to my heart uh, as uh, being my trumpet mom, someone who uh, really helped prepare me for college uh, and even when I was in college really working with me to 
uh, be a better trumpet player, and in turn, a better music educator. Uh, she first uh, told me uh, when I was taking lessons with her that when you become a band director, I will be your first soloist. Now, usually you hear people say that, and you're like, yeah, whatever. Um, but she stuck to her word. Five years ago, she came in um, and played with my, our groups here. Uh, and I think it's time to bring her back and uh, see how our program has grown and blossomed here at Fenville Public Schools. Uh, also, we have a third soloist that's joining us. Uh, and for those of you who might not know, uh, Mrs. Leonard is also a trumpet player. So we asked her to come on up. Um, and so coming to the stage, we have uh, Miss Casey Seeger as the conductor, Miss Jean Libs as trumpet uh, soloist, and Miss Jocelyn Leonard also as trumpet soloist. <laughs> and Ryan, come on up. So in the fine arts and in performing arts, collaboration is key. You'll see um, during our Monday PLC time that we have, uh, myself and Mrs. Leonard have uh, worked very hard to collaborate together to uh, have her come in and perform with us and me perform with her. If you missed their concert on Tuesday, uh, it was fabulous and it was wonderful uh, and you really missed out. Uh, but coming up next, our last piece for the eighth grade band, and this is Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, now. 
when we are preparing for this uh, concert, we've had State Band Festival, which was about two weeks ago. So really, we've had about two weeks of work to prepare um, the, the last piece that you heard and this next piece. Um, and since we're playing Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, the students have asked me to tell a pirate joke because they love my jokes. Um, so my, my favorite one, and they all know the answer to this, so don't tell the answer, is where is a pirate's favorite place to eat? No, it's actually Long John Silver's. You would think it would be Arby's, but no, it's Long John Silver's. Don't worry, I'll be here all night. Extra credit to those who are laughing. <laughs>
we're playing uh, a Mozart concerto for bassoon. Now this piece is also arranged for clarinet, and we are featuring, once again, um, <coughs> Judith Peters, who was a producer who's also a fantastic clarinetist, uh, and she actually will be going to school next year at James Madison <coughs> University uh, in Virginia uh, to become a uh, their master's producer and music performer. So let's welcome to the stage uh, Miss Casey Peters.
Can you turn this up just a little bit? Can you all hear me good? Yeah? Okay. So um, before Ms. Seeger runs away from the stage here uh, for her next part, we would like to give her a, a little gift and a token of our appreciation uh, for her spending the past little while for us. Um, so we got you some lovely flowers. And a lovely card signed by all the band members with a, a special gift in there uh, that'll most definitely help a college kid with life. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, so now we've come to the uh, portion in our program where we're going to honor some of our seniors uh, as well as other members of the band. Uh, first, we have the Award of Excellence. Uh, the Award of Excellence uh, was started five years ago, uh, and the point of this is to reward um, students that go above and beyond uh, just being a normal band member, um, as abnormal as most of us are that are in band. We love you all, though. Um, but our first uh, Award of Excellence um, goes to... Uh, a ninth grader, Andy Estrada. <laughs> Our second um, award of excellence also goes to a freshman. Um, this doesn't always happen where uh, two go to a certain grade, but um, there, we have some exceptional musicians out here, uh, and one of the best of them is Miss Selena Catman. Congratulations. I'll shake my own hand. Thank you so much. No, that's all right. I wash my hands, I swear. All right. Our next award of excellence um, goes to... Uh, a student who has really, really uh, improved as a musician and as a leader uh, and is going to be our trumpet section leader next year, and that's Mr. Cody Obink. Congratulations. Our last award of excellence goes to an 11th grader who, uh, who really, really, really works hard um, and is an integral part of our band um, and is one of the voices that hold down our monstrous tenor sax section, and that's Mr. Baden Garlock. Congratulations. All right. Up next, we're going to honor our seniors. Um, our seniors have... Uh, they were eighth graders when I first came here, and uh, they have grown from little awkward middle schoolers to big awkward high schoolers. Um, and I like whoever that was. That, that's good. No. Um, so they've really, really come a long way and helped build our band program. Uh, they have been a part of many firsts, the first, um, first place uh, at a competition, the first first division rating in marching band and concert band, um, the first many more of our marching band uh, accomplishments from last year. Um, so first, we would like to honor um, our seniors with a plaque for them to hold on forever and ever, uh, as well as a uh, medal that has a special uh, note for them on the back, um, and something that they get to wear at graduation to symbolize that they were a member of the Black Hawk Band family. So up first, we have Mr. George Castle. Andres Garcia. There's a chair there. Told me to hold on one sec, so I'm going to hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm waiting. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, thank you. It's from the seniors. Thank you. 
It's a box of goodies and a pie. Thank you. Thank you, seniors. That goes up right, right up there. I got a brick earlier this year as a gift. So thank you, Jake Brown. That, no offense, Jake, that surpasses that. So, okay. Up next, as a senior, uh, we have Mr. Nicholas Hamill. Congratulations, Nick. Tristan Jeffrey. Congratulations. Sarah Johnson. Congratulations. Casey Kernodal. Kimberly Morales. Congratulations. And last but certainly not least, Alejandra Pinon. Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your class of 2017. <laughs> All right, before we get back to some music, we have some uh, more awards to give away, uh, both national awards and local awards. Um, and the first is the director's award, uh, and that is awarded uh, by a student that really demonstrates the, what it means to be a part of the Fenville Blackhawk band family. Uh, and be a, a great person and a great musician, uh, Mr. George Castle. Congratulations. Up next, we have the National Award for Marching. And this goes to a student that I've never seen a student work so hard uh, in marching band uh, than this young man, uh, and I couldn't think of anyone more deserving than Jose Fabian Gonzalez. Yay. We'll get that fixed. This isn't the only uh, band that we have here. We also have a jazz band, and part of that uh, is I get to give the Louis Armstrong Award, uh, and that goes to one of the top uh, jazz students, and they get this wonderful trophy and a pin. Um, and this student has come a long way in leading the alto sax section um, and is just a wonderful musician uh, and uh, a great and future jazz artist, and that's Mr. Hunter Buter. Congratulations. <laughs> Our second to last award is called the Patrick Gilmore Award, uh, and that is uh, awarded to a junior or senior um, who shows what it means to be a true band member, uh, excels both musically um, in class and out of class, and this particular individual um, has been a part of concert band, jazz band, marching band. Uh, fantastics and chamber choir and music theory. So every music class we offer here at Fenville Public Schools, this young man has been a part of that and has excelled in that, Mr. Tristan Jeffrey. Congratulations. In our last award, the highest award uh, given to any band student, uh, and this is an award that has been given to presidents, doctors, lawyers, um, homemakers, and myself uh, back in the day. Uh, I can't believe I graduated high school a decade ago. That seems unreal. 
Now, don't try to do the math to figure out how old I am. Um, but this young man is someone who um, is completely deserving of this award. Um, and he's someone who stands out both in our band, in our community, in our school district, uh, in choir, someone who excels at uh, everything he's been a part of. Um, and that goes to Mr. Andres Garcia. Congratulations. Up next, we are going to welcome to the stage uh, Miss Libs, uh, and we will be performing a, a piece called Irish Songs. Now, before she comes out here, um, I have a surprise for her, and I'll, I'll show her and show us, and then I'll put it back, and she can eat it later. Um, when I was uh, a student with Miss Libs, I drove two hours down to Ann Arbor, where she lived, uh, lives, and I uh, paid her in pie. Um, <laughs> so I, I think it, it's our tradition with me and Miss Libs, um, and it's something that uh, we did five years ago, and I, uh, we're going to do it every other time, or every time she comes here. Um, and it was an Ackett's pie, that's where I grew up, that was the pie place, but here we have Crane's pies, and we want to give her the best. So, Miss Libs, <laughs> we'll put it back there. All right, let's hear some music.
All right, for our last piece, uh, we're going to welcome the eighth graders back to the stage. Um, we're going to just move some things around. Uh, so just uh, be patient as we get 30 more chairs on stage.
Thank you to all, uh, all of you so much for coming on out uh, and supporting arts here at Fenville Public Schools. Uh, you all have a great night and have a safe drive home. <laughs>